I'm Javier Guzman. I'm the Director General of the Colombian Regulatory Agency uh, in charge of regulating uh, medicines, devices, food, cosmetics, lab, tissue. That's what we do. Well, it, it has framed the national discussion within the international landscape. And it's, it has therefore helped us develop our pharmaceutical policy. Uh, we've been working on a new pharmaceutical policy since 2012, but it's clear that unless we understand and take part of this debate that is at the international level in a structural manner, we will not be able to progress much farther. It has also um, encouraged us to have international conversations within the government, because it's clear that within governments, uh, you do have different opinions and positions on this issue. So we've had interesting conversations with our friends from um, the Commerce Ministry and the Patent Office and uh, people that are not normally thinking about health. Um, and that has been helpful. Um, and, and finally, well, it has been interesting to see how uh, what we have experienced in Colombia uh, well, has also been um, experienced in other countries and, and how uh, the United Nations could actually take part in a situation that um, is very much, um, well, very close to uh, every single government because of the importance of the health of our population. Well, the first thing is we, we, we had a uh, national panel uh, a few weeks ago, but um, as I said before, uh, it has encouraged us to have conversations within government. And, and there are a few things that we are finding common ground on. And, and the common ground is, for instance, um, how the interministerial um, commission dealing with intellectual property should discuss these issues, should take into account these issues. It's not a, a commission um, that should be devoted to protect intellectual property or the rights of inventors. Uh, it's a commission that should take intellectual property uh, holistically, understanding the impact on public health. So that commission has been set up for a few years, but it's, it's a new opportunity to have a different discussion within the commission. Um, it has also been very important to at least um, have a frank, open discussion with people within government about issues that we are not very much aligned on, um, like the use of the TRIPS flexibilities, for instance. Um, at least it's important to understand um, why and how we can actually have a much um, productive discussions on the way forward. Um, we have also, uh, as the Colombian government, have been thinking carefully about transparency, and transparency for us is key. So we have been working on uh, disclosing uh, prices in Colombia, disclosing as much as we can the results of the clinical trials that have taken place in Colombia. Uh, so that's, that's all very much aligned with the report recommendations. And, and finally, I think th there is a, a very important point here, uh, which is how much money uh, countries like Colombia, middle-income countries or upper-middle-income countries can devote or should devote to research and development. Uh, we have a very low level of investment uh, on these issues, uh, and it's clear that this is a global responsibility. The, the, the key question is um, whether it is feasible for countries like us or desirable for countries like us to invest more in research and development. And, and that is a discussion that we are currently taking place. Well, you know, I think, I think um, the, the text agreed internationally and the text included in, well, every single um, multilateral document is clear on the need to respect the flexibilities, on the need to um, 
use the flexibilities when it's appropriate. But this is all, uh, you know, beautiful on paper. But we have experienced clearly that this doesn't take place in reality. And it's very encouraging to see how the, the, the high-level panel is asking governments and is asking the, the United Nations to clearly uh, take action on these matters. Uh, what we've ha we have experienced when we had discussions on um, the use, the, the, po the potential use of the flexibilities or even uh, the declaration of uh, a product as of public health interest um, is something that um, we just clearly saw how uh, there's a very big gap between what's written and what the reality is. Um, and it's not just, you know, pressure from other governments uh, or from the in from industries. It's also the lack of uh, capabilities within governments and in-house to be able to face these debates. Um, and we do need, we countries do need support and we do need to have uh, open conversations about how to progress on the use of these flexibilities in a much more uh, real manner.